Hey all, welcome back, and this is part four. We're going to apply a method to an array within an object. So everything that we just talked about, about applying a method to an array when it's nested inside of an array, uh, holds true for applying a method to an array in any situation. We're going to walk through how to do it if it's inside of an object, but even if it's inside of an object, the method application is still very similar. You have an expression that refers to the array, you use that expression, whether it's just a variable name or a variable name saved that points to some object that's nested or some array that's nested in an object. The combinations don't really limit, to, or aren't really limit, limited by any uh, stretch, but it is good to walk through at least one version of them. So we're going to do two of those real quick and then a coding challenge. So first one, array value here and not an array value here. So just object at key one and then apply array dot is array to that and it'll give us either true or false, depending on if it's an array or not. Now let's talk about some holidays. And in each one of these, we're going to uh, create a variable that points to the value first. So value of American holidays, holidays.american, value of Hindu holidays, holidays at Hindu, and using uh, dot and bracket notation interchangeably because all of our keys are uh, one word strings with no special characters inside of them. And then we just apply array.isArray to that value or array dot is array to the other value. We run this, we're gonna see that for the American holidays, because it's an array, we get true. For the Hindu holiday, because it's just a string, we're gonna get false. Relatively straightforward thing. So we're gonna complete a function, it takes in two parameters. One, values, one value is an object, possibly containing an array, as well as a key in that object, and returns whether the value located at the key is an array or not. Your function should create a variable, assign it to an expression that tells whether the input object's value located at the input key is an array or not, using the array.isArray method, then return that created variable. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function is an array again. So let's copy our function stub, copy our test cases, and follow pseudocode. So create a result variable, assign it to a call to the applicable method, which is going to be array.isArray. And what we're going to call that on is going to be whatever the value inside of the input object is located at the input key. Then we'll return the result. So if we run this, we should get true and false. One thing we could also do is something like variable inner possible array is equal to input object at key. Now all we're doing here is just giving ourselves a possibly more convenient name for whatever is in there. So since it's possibly an array, if we call it inner possible array, it might make it a little bit more straightforward as to what the code is up to. So if we run that, we're going to see the same story. So now that we've got that, let's paste it in the input window, run our tests, and that sweeps our floor. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.